Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiger Network here for the Trinity Tigers women's soccer team home debut for the season. What's that called? Home opener. <laughs> for the Trinity Tigers home opener, they're taking on Claremont Mud Scripts, the Athenas. They've already seen one of the, the other Claremont College, Pomona Pizza. Trinity lost that one. So we'll have a look here. Uh, Claremont Mud Scripts, of course, from Claremont. Merger of three colleges for athletics. So that is Claremont McKenna. It's Harvey Mud and it's Scripps all merged together. They come in with a record of 1 1 1. They last match was a scoreless draw up in Georgetown against Southwestern. They are the SCIAC runners up. And their record against Trinity is so Trinity leads the series 1 0 and 1. 1 1, drawn 1. The last match was a 2 1 win for Trinity here in 2016, almost to the day. Uh, player to watch for the Athenas for me, Annie McKinley, junior defender. She's coming back from injury. She's already scored a game winner this year. Let's run through the lineup for the Athenas. Just one change. Flora Glance comes in for Kateri Trujillo. Flora sharing a name with Estonia's most successful club, FC Flora. Uh, so we'll run through the lineup. Sadie Brown in goal, Tori Holden, Annie McKinley, Flora Glance, Caitlin Helfrich, Ivy Duran, Laurel Ovenell, Anna Allen, Emma Fogg, Frankie Fragola, and Ava Schmidt, head coach for CMS. David Nolan in his second season, 10, 7, and 7 record. He's familiar with the system. He was an associate head coach at Pomona Pizza for seven years. He's from Dundalk Island. Played two years at California Baptist and then two at La Sierra. He won the Sportsmanship Award at La Sierra, which I think is a really cool award that they do there. Now on the Tigers, they're ranked number ninth. I suspect we might be seeing that changing when the rankings come out next week. So the number nine Trinity Tigers, they're one and two this year. Their last match was a 2-0 loss to Cal Lutheran, also up in Georgetown on Friday. The player to watch for them is number four, Abby Schneider, junior forward. She's already scored twice this season. We'll run through the lineup. They've had two changes. Dabney Moore coming in for Hannah Khan and Emily Hayes coming in for World Cup player. Malia Cesar, we'll talk more about her when she comes on the field. Represented the Philippines at the Women's World Cup, but she's not starting today. She just gets introduced. So we'll run through the lineup for Trinity. Lauren Lewis in goal, then Abby Schneider, Josephine McRae, Reese Wallace, Dabney Moore, Emma Everts, Ilsa Newland, Kira Stafford, Emily Hayes, Michaela Bosco, and Bailey Meyer. Head coach of Trinity is Dylan Harrison. He's in his eighth season, 123, 14, and 7. Played for the Trinity men's team here, graduated in 2002. He was the head coach at Nichols State, where he holds the records for most win as a coach. His wife, Kristen, is the associate AD here for recreation and sports camps. This should be an interesting one. Both teams will be expecting to win or wanting to win for sure. I think Claremont could do this. CMS, Trinity have certainly had a disappointing by their standard start to the season. And they'll be expecting more. Certainly didn't expect them to lose two. Of course, the other loss was a bit of a grudge match with the other Claremont College's schools, Pomona Pizza. They met in the NCAA tournament last year. Trinity won here on penalties. So Pomona Pizza got a bit of a revenge in that. Of course, you'd rather win the NCAA game than the regular season game. But we're going to have the anthem, and then I'll be back with you for the kickoff.
Yeah, players will shake hands. And we'll get ready. What should be an entertaining game? Looking forward to this one. Of course, home opener for Trinity. Make sure you stick around with us. we got the men's game after this. The men will be playing Whitman. All right, the Athenas and the Tigers. But the number nine ranked Trinity Tigers taking on the CMS Athenas. Men's team's called the Stags, if you're wondering. Athenas, of course, there is a tie-in to San Antonio with the name Athenas. The San Antonio Athenians playing in the WPSL as well. So for Claremont. Mud Scripps. Oh, I threw a couple of their notable alumni. Julie Sweet for Claremont McKenna. She was a CEO of Accenture. Steve Bullock, former Montana governor, also went to Claremont McKenna. Harvey Mudd, Donald D. Chamberlain, the co-inventor of SQL. And then two astronauts, Stan Love, George Pinky Nelson. And Scripps alumni. You've got Alison Saar, the artist, and Gabby Giffords, former member of Congress. There's a Helene Meyer who has a fascinating story. She was a fencer. We'll run through the weather. It's 89 right now, which is delightful compared to what we've been having here. If you've seen our earlier matches this season for the Trinity men's side, they've been well over 100. The high today is 102. Feels like 100. It, it is definitely feels warmer than 89 out here. And the, uh, the poor players are going to be in the sun for the whole match. There is a bit of a breeze though, I can see the flags on top of the scoreboard blowing, that takes the edge off a little bit. But the breeze here can be weird, it's because of where the stadium, the stadium, because of where the field is on the campus, you get a bit of a breeze up high, but the pitch is set low, and so you don't always get everything, and so it can blow up in the air when the ball's up in the sky, it'll move around. But on the ground, it's not as breezy. Today, it's kind of swelling around everywhere, which is good. Um, so it'll take the edge off. But 89 at kickoff, I'll take that, given how hot it's been the last couple weeks. For the Athenians versus the Tigers. The Athenas, not the Athenians. And so it's going to be so it'll be the Trinity Tigers in white they're going to be going from left to right on your screen and the CMS Athenas they're in the maroon they're going to be going from right to left on your screen we are underway here, Trinity with first use, so that means that they lost the toss. So the Athenas won the toss and opted to go in that direction. Combative early. Dabney Moore on the ball but loses out. Athenas looking to build up here. CMS lose out to Michaela Bosco. Had a good year last year. All the way back to the keeper who clears well. That is a great clearance all the way up past halfway. Trinity have let it bounce, which should never do. In the end, Bailey Meyer sends it away for a throw for CMS. <laughs> Thrown in for Tori Holden. Played back. Looking for a switch here for Ivy Duran. Duran on the ball, plays down the wing, looking for Fregola. Fregola, it's just going to beat it to the sideline. That's a throw in. For the Tigers, right in the corner. The Tigers playing it up the line here. Controlled well. Beautiful control from Avi Duran. Back to Duran. Played forward for Schmidt. Schmidt goes out wide to Holden. Holden in the middle. Out wide for Fregola. Fregola looking to turn her defender. Blocked well, but still there for Fregola. Plays it in for Fogg. Played back for Duran to use the space. Good decision to play it back. Clearance is missed. 
Appeal for a handball with the arm that close to the body. You're not going to give those in 2023. Perhaps a couple years ago before the handball law had changed. Or the interpretation of it had changed. And now a good chance for Trinity on the break. Up the left. Michaela Bosco making a run. This is what she does so well. She's quick. Crossed in. Left behind though. It's come out though. Back. Opportunity there for Kira Stafford. It's blocked. As the clearance is attempted. Trinity back on the ball. Good block there from CMS. And now CMS will take their time. This is good. Nice and patient. That's what I like to see. Too many teams come in and try to rush everything. So it's nice to see a team take their time about it. And just build play up. Wait for something to happen. It's good. That's a little short. But done well. To keep the ball alive. From Ovenel. Sent long. Trinity can't deal with it at first. Looking to clear on the second time. Headed down the line, but it's going to run. And so it'll be a throw for Trinity. Again, deep in their own half. Good opportunity for the Athenas to keep the ball down here. Throw comes, but it's gathered in by Ovenel. Ovenel to Schmidt. Schmidt just can't get there, and Trinity will try and come away with it. It's gathered by McKinley. McKinley back for Ovenel. Ovenel's got support there in Ivy Duran, who she finds. Good one-touch football, but just couldn't control it on the sideline, so that's a throw for Trinity. Throw in up the line from Reese Wallace. Controlled by Schneider, but lost out. Oh, beautiful footwork there from Emma Fogg. The control's heavy, and Trinity will regather. That was great work to cut inside, sells out the defender. Michaela Bosco here up the left. There's a run coming from Kira Stafford. She's tall and she's quick. Crossed in, straight to the keeper, well gathered. Good take from Sadie Brown, who plays on quickly. Gets it out to Fregola. Fregola playing it forward for Helfrich. Helfrich just runs out of space. It's a throw for Trinity. So a throw for Trinity here. Going to be taken by Reese Wallace. Senior midfielder from Oak Park, California. Fight for Everts. Everts loses out. But Trinity will regather. No, they won't. Back for CMS. Ivy Duran. Duran back for Ovenel. Goes all the way back. Nice little short passing. Opens up the space. Really good work from the Athenas. Of course, I say that, and it's passed directly to one of the Tigers players. Play four for Schneider. Loses out. Back to the Athenas. Holden. Cleared down. But to Trinity, who will control and reset. Loses out. Tori Holden runs up to take it. And the switch comes. Good switch out for Ivy Duran. Duran making a run. Plays it down for Frankie Fregola. She's behind the defense. No. Good covering work there from Reese Wallace to put it out for a throw. Controlled. Uh, it's just gone beyond. It's going to be a throw, though. Not a goal kick. It stayed this side of the of the flag. So throwing deep in their own half again for the Tigers. Goes in, keeper claims, under a bit of pressure from her own defender. Good take from Lauren Lewis. Of course, the two main goalkeepers for Trinity are both named Lauren. We're going to look at this one. It's a good ball. Put pressure on the keeper. I like that. And then good work there from Flora Glance to go back, ready for anything. It's a good effort. Good take, though, from Lauren Lewis. Played forward. She is offside, though. She's going to try and finish it for good measure. 
Which I kind of like. I like it when a player is going to do that. Just, you know, it's a freebie. Go put it in the back of the net anyway. Went wide. Not that it matters. Cleared away. Oh, it could be trouble here. She could have picked that up because there's no way that would be ruled intentional. But I like that you don't don't give the referee a decision because you know Trinity would have said something about it. Ava Schmidt can play it out wide for Frankie Fregola. She does. Fregola's got space to run into. Needs support. Supports in the box. Goes out for Schmidt. Just played it in between her players. It's going to go out for a throw. Outside the attacking third, but a chance to build something up. Ivy Duran throws it in. For Fregola. Ovenel. Ovenel plays it out wide for Allen. Allen with speed. Runs into space. Plays it out wide. Good move, but they're going to go back for Tori Holden. That's blocked. CMS will keep it in anyway. Played forward. Defense steps up for Trinity to gather that. Playing it out for Bosco to run onto. I don't think she's that quick. And it's played back calmly by McKinley to the keeper. Pressure came. Good run there from Schneider to put the pressure on. Plenty of time though now for CMS. Got support in all directions. Goes over the top, cleared away. Tigers gathering that second ball. Emily Hayes flicks it on. But the Athenas now will get first sustained use of it. Back to the keeper. About 10 minutes in, still scoreless. If you're just joining us for some Sunday morning soccer. Headed forward. Cleared away. Headed on. Can the Athenas bring it down? They do. Gets it around the defender. But unfortunately, just wasn't up for it. It's cleared away by Trinity. It's going to be a throw for CMS. Ava Schmidt just didn't read that, but decent effort. They'll still keep possession. Played in for Helfrich. Helfrich looks to play it wide, but it's just played in front of the player. And so it'll go out for a Trinity throw in their own half. Of course, a good morning for it. International break. Saw a thriller in Dallas yesterday. CMS just can't control it. Trinity will play it back. Yeah, international break, a thriller in Dallas. Yesterday, Australia forced back to a 2-2 draw against Mexico. Goes out wide for Bosco. Bosco with some space to cross it in. Good covering defense, though. Puts her off. Gathered by the keeper. Ball didn't go out. So we're going to play along. That's that South American style of clearing it where you go side on. It makes it much flatter, much easier to deal with. Hoofed long. It's going to require a run here. But it goes too long. Goes back to the keeper. Schneider just couldn't catch up with it. Athena's afforded space. That's a beautiful pass out to Ovenel. Ovenel plays it for Duran. Duran in space now. She's got support. Galladin play back by to McKinley. McKinley plays it out wide. Goes forward for Allen. For Schmidt. Holden. She could switch it here. Goes along the deck to Fogg. Fogg's got support in Duran. Bypasses Duran looking for Fregola. Well gathered in by Fregola. She turns the defender so she's in behind. Goes into the far post. And it's going to go out for a corner. Stafford just couldn't turn and get that ball away. So a corner kick here for CMS. First corner of the day. We'll get another look at this. Really good work from Fregola to turn the defender. Plays it in far post. Trinity allowed to bounce. Stafford under pressure from Flora Glance. And goes out for a corner. Swung near post. Can't get over that first defender. 
played back for over. Now the shots off the woodwork. And it's a corner. So a second corner here for CMS. Really good passage. They've had the better of the early going, you'd have to say. It's another look at that lead up to the first corner here. The pressure is what creates that. Now another corner, shaping the play at short. But they go into the middle. Headed clear, and yes, a foul. There was the cry from Dylan Harrison for the foul. it will be a free kick for Trinity. They'll play it out of the back pretty calmly. Signals for a run forward, but plays it short anyway. There's a chance for a switch here. We've got Emily Hayes there shaping for the switch. There it is. Oh, it's just landed in the middle of Hayes and Wallace. And so CMS back on the ball, Duran. I did Duran. Plays it back for Allen. Fog, I should say. Strong defensive work from the Tigers. Need some support though. And Cray got the support. In Kira Stafford, it's blocked defensively. And then a good turn. She's in plenty of space. Has support though. Schneider's touch is heavy. Emily Hayes couldn't control it. Played over the top, it's deflected. Keeper's gonna come though and gather. Good work. And they'll take some time about it. Just a little under the cosh there, the Athenas. So they'll just play it on the ground and soak up some time and look to play here. And the Athenas will send it long. Up the right. Can't control it. And Trinity now with a chance to play it forward. They've got pace up front. There's Schneider. Trying to run onto that. She'll get there. She's going to have to cut it back, though, because she's right on the byline, which makes it easier to defend because you know what she has to do. Played in. <laughs> Referee's got a decision to make. Yes, he's awarded the goal. Has gone over the line. Goalkeeper's not happy with it. I think Emily Hayes is the scorer. We're getting another look at it. That was definitely close. Let's get a look here. It's a good defensive challenge, really great defensive challenge, but it only goes as far as the Trinity player. She cuts in well. Yeah, that's over the line. So a goal for Emily Hayes. Kira Stafford with the assist. 15 minutes gone, Trinity one. CMS nil. Emily Hayes bundles it home. That noise you hear is not some terrible thing happening. It's the ball bouncing off the shed. So for Emily Hayes, the goal scorer, that is her fifth career goal. And then Kira Stafford had the assist, her 19th assist. CMS building well here. But it will be claimed by the keeper. Big shout out to the CMS uh, media crew, SID crew, for having all the players pronounce their names in a video. It makes it much easier on the broadcasts, because I, I always hate when I get somebody's name wrong. So big shout out. Thank you so much, CMS, for doing that. Made my job a lot easier. Trinity here making a run down the right. That's going to be a corner. Trinity's first corner of the night. Of the night. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> first, first corner of the day. The under the tree. This is the hardest corner to take, because you've got to come down the hill. It's a difficult corner. Bosco, swung in far post, but straight to the defender. That second clearance, though, only goes straight up. First clearance was good. 
Goes out wide. That's a smart move. As much as it falls to Trinity, it gets it away from the goal at least a little bit. Can't beat the first defender, though. And now CMS can get it away. That's what you want. And now they're going to step up, try and play an offside trap. Everts plays it out wide, looking for the goal scorer, Hayes, but it's going to run on her and go out for a goal kick for CMS. But Trinity scoring with really their first chance of the match. First really sustained passage that they'd really had. CMS, probably the more dangerous side, you'd have to say right now, but unfortunately, not reflecting on the scoreboard. So CMS moving forward. Ava Schmidt playing as a lone striker up front. They'll do that transition that you see so much in modern football where when you don't have the ball, you're playing four or five at the back. When you have the ball, you're playing three at the back. So keep an eye out for that. Trinity have a run, but there's no support. She has to play it back or play for the corner, which is what she does. But yeah, you'll see a lot of it these days where when you're out of possession, you play four or five in the back. When you're in possession, you're playing three. Your wingers are coming forward to support midfield, getting up. So again, that difficult corner for Bosco to run down the hill. Plays it in near post. Shots blocked. I think that one hurt her. She's taking some time to get back up. She's been down sucking in some breaths. Played far post. There's a lot of space out there for Stafford. Had the assist on the goal. She'll swing it in. Great defensive work to block it. Appealing for a handball, but for me it came off the body, not the hands. Played back to Dabney Moore. Goes over the top. Headers missed. Bosco can't run onto it. Great goalkeeping from Sadie Brown. She's done well. That's her 70th save of her career. Fifth this season. She has kept six clean sheets. Obviously, she went at night. But she transferred in from the College of Charleston last year. Goes long. Trinity let it bounce, though. But it's going to run straight out for a goal kick. I see a sub getting ready for CMS. That's yeah, going to be Kateri Trujillo. Goes to Harvey Mudd. She uh, was a starter on Friday. Didn't start today. She was the one change. Tigers will lose out. That's a throw, and so there'll be a sub. Trujillo will come on. She went to Prospect Ridge Academy in Brighton, Colorado. She holds her school record for goals and assists. 62 goals, 52 assists. Freshman forward. Her high school coach praised her work ethic. The player coming out, Flora Glantz, freshman midfielder from Austin. Not too far away. Not as close as Georgetown was. Plays more as a number 10, number 9 on the back of the jersey. So now Trujillo in. Played down the line, but it's just going to run. Just a little too strong, maybe. Good run there from Helfrich to keep it in. I'd given up on it. Helfrich hadn't, and she wins a throw. Deep there. This could be a long throw. We'll see. I don't think she's shaping for a long throw, though, so it looks like she's going to play it short and then they'll cross it in. Plays it out for Duran. Duran swings it in. Trying to put pressure on the keeper. Tries to turn. Just can't do that, Trujillo. The fresh legs. And now the Tigers back on the ball. Got a lot of support here, does Bosco. Bosco plays it forward, but the player was offside. I think she was looking for maybe Schneider out there. But she was offside. She was coming back from an offside position, so she didn't bother playing it. Ball played long. Headed away by Wallace. Wallace goes to Hayes, the goal scorer. Dabney Moore playing it forward to Bosco. Really great sliding challenge there from McKinley. Duran takes the space. Fagola plays it back to her. But it's telegraphed and it's cut out by Reese Wallace. Wallace plays it out wide for Schneider, who's in behind, has space. Got support in the box from Bosco. There's also runners late arriving, can't get it over the first defender. Good defensive challenge, all ball. And CMS will clear it out. Decent effort, though, from Fragola to try and get on that. 
And the throw-in is going to come here for the Tigers, an attacking opportunity. So controlled by Bosco. Bosco will look to turn. She's got two on her. Heavy touch. Loses out, but CMS will end up putting it out for a throw for the Tigers. It's about halfway through the first half. 1-0 Trinity over CMS in what's been a pretty entertaining first 23 minutes. Of course, clock counts down in uh, college soccer, which means I have to do math, which I don't love doing. Played out. CMS clear. Wallace is going to try and challenge for it. Good turn from Helfrich. Just can't keep hold. It's going to go back to the keeper. They want pressure on. Helfrich does put the pressure on, but that allows it to play it back pretty calmly. Played long, looking for Bosco. The control is heavy, though, so that means Bosco is going to be in behind in space. And now Schneider is free in the box if Bosco can get on it. Challenged. And it's deflected out for a goal kick for the Athenas. Taylor Fogg will take this out. She's got the space. Fregola was calling for it. It will come to her now. Blocked, so a throw. Which is just as well because Helfrich was offside. Yeah, ball is in. Good work from the assistant referee. It's something you don't notice a lot. But he signals out with his hand that the ball's still in play. Earns a throw. Blocks it back off for Gola. And a sub coming here for Trinity. It's going to be Hannah Khan coming in. Sophomore forward from South Lake, Texas. Playing a 27th game of her career. She was the SCAC Freshman of the Year last year. Scored and assisted on her college debut. Goes back for Allen. Heavy touch, which allows Trinity to regather. Chance to play it up the line. There's a good run there. Bosco cuts inside, but it's too heavy a pull. And goes out for a throw for Trinity, though. Well cleared by CMS. So a throw for the Tigers. Going to be taken by Reese Wallace. Goes over the top for Bosco. Stood up well. Great work defensively. From Emma Fogg, quiz it out for the corner. So corner for Trinity. Third of the day. This time on the near side. Bosco sending it in. Far post, very far. Yeah, foul on the defensive player. Stopping the clock. Perhaps, oh, the water break. We're going to have a water break because it is hot out. Not as hot as it has been, but that feels like is over 100. So, water break here with 20 minutes to play in the first half. Trinity 1, CMS 0. Chris Hockman with you for Tiger Network. If you're wondering, the goal came 15 minutes in. Emily Hayes bundled it home. She got in behind the defence. Keeper just couldn't get there. It was just over the line before the keeper gathered it. And it put it at 1-0. Four Trinities, we have a water break. It is warm. Referees do have a comm system today, which is nice. It allows, makes it a lot easier on those instances where the ball is on the line. I've been an AR in those scenarios. It's always, always difficult when you're the AR and you have to call it when it's right on the line. So having the comm system makes it a lot better. We are going to have a sub for CMS after the water break. So we're going to have Kamal Randolph coming on. First year midfielder from Pasadena, California. Here's a look at the goal, which we'll get a good look at. 
because we're using that behind the goal camera, so you'll see it bounce over the line. There's that bounce. It comes back. Yeah, I think Keeper knew the way she reacted initially and then kind of appealed for it to not be over the line. Big thanks to our camera crew here for setting all those up, getting us those shots where you do see that it's over the line. Great angle. Always appreciative of having shots like that that we get from a professional broadcast here at Tiger Network. So big thank you to the crew. So come around of coming on. First year midfielder from Pasadena, California. She goes to Scripps. It's her fourth appearance. She's been in every game. She's an economics major. She's playing on the wing. As everybody hydrates, it's important. Referees also need the water because it's hot. Don't think I saw a sub for the Tigers. They're getting ready to make one. I don't think they're making it yet. It's going to be Maya Azimi getting ready to come on. Junior midfielder from Dallas, Texas. She went to Koppel. SCAC academic on a roll. She was a club national champion in high school. She's doing a really interesting research project. She's looking into mathematics and learning in early childhood education, which I think is cool. Um, too often, early childhood education is missed out. So important stuff to look into that Maya Azimi is doing as a research assistant. So we're back underway. Once the ball gets back into play, the referee's blown things back on. So CMS will play it here. You see Frigola wanted the switch there, but a good turn from Helfrich. Helfrich played out wide. Gets in behind. Can she do it? Yes, yeah, she's in behind. Good opportunity. There's a lot of support, a lot of numbers in the box, but can't get over that first defender. She will get use of it again. Not enough communication right on top of each other, but there we go. Now they're breaking it out. We'll hear from Trujillo. Just can't get it in. I said it was good work, and then it's given away. So Azimi is coming on, and that aforementioned sub, Randolph. No. Corner kick here for CMS, so that's why the sub's not happening, because CMS didn't make the sub, so that means Trinity's not allowed to make the sub. But those two subs we talked about earlier, they'll be the ones that come in. So corner kick here for the Athenas. Fregola standing over it. She's been involved in a lot of good things today. Into the middle. Can't get past the defender, but blocked well from the Athenas. But again cleared away by Trinity. Decent effort here from CMS. That was great following up. Don't see enough of that these days. People give up on the ball too easy. CMS can't be accused of that today. Played in looking for Trujillo. She turns. Keeper comes and gets there. Well claimed from Lewis, who rolls it out quickly. I don't think there's much chance of a counter. They didn't have too many players forward. Played long, but it's telegraphed and cut out. And so now CMS back on the ball. Schmidt playing it down the line, looking for Fregola. Just runs out on her. And it'll be a throw, and those two subs will come on. So Randolph and Ozimi coming on. I saw Michaela Bosco coming off. She's worked hard. She's been running a lot. She was a valedictorian in high school. The junior forward from Weatherford, Texas. Ball goes long. Fresh legs running onto it. Yeah, that's a foul. She's just run into her. Not a lot of intent to get the ball there. Easy decision for the referee. And so it'll be a relieving free kick. We'll get another look at it. Yeah, she moves, instead of moving towards the ball, moves towards the player. Shoulder to shoulder's okay, but she throws an elbow in there. And honestly, with the force, it's more like a body check in, in ice hockey than a shoulder to shoulder play. Ball played short, but ran back well, did ran off the fresh legs. But they just don't read it. Azimi now. The fresh legs for Trinity up against the fresh legs for CMS. 
Goes back to Maya. Maya plays it across. Tigers working on it. McRae. Working up the left here. I see Stafford there. Goes to Hannah Khan, though, who loses out. Tigers asking for a switch on the bench. Reese Wallace is out right. Played in for Everts. Everts to Wallace. Wallace loses out in the contest. But it's back with Everts. Everts plays for Stafford. Stafford plays it back. Swung in looking for Azimi. She can't get there. CMS back on the ball. Blocked, but it's going to run through to the keeper who will just take a time about it. No need to rush things. Still only in the first half and still 16 minutes to play. Trinity 1, CMS 0. Chris Ockman with you for Tiger Network. As CMS work it up the field. Just passing it around, trying to open up the space. Looking for Trinity to commit forward. Missed clearance. No, not a missed clearance. It came off of her, so it's going to be a throw for CMS. Just outside there attacking third. Stafford using her height to make a bit of a nuisance of herself. Goes up the line. It might go long. Just going to be shepherded out. So it's going to be a goal kick for CMS. And so I see Echo Malinowski Cunningham. First year defender from Houston, Texas coming in. She competed in track and volleyball in high school as well as soccer. And then Kayla Boven coming in. First year defender from Katy, Texas. So two Houston area folks coming on. Her dad played soccer at Western Michigan. So she chose Trinity because it felt like home. So moving it out wide, looking for those fresh legs of Malinowski coming in. Can't find her though. There she is, Malinowski coming in on the ball, her first touch. Plays it in for Helfrich. Helfrich under a bit of pressure, but gets past her defender. Played it into the contest with Schmidt, who lost out. And now Trinity back on the ball. It's short. Finds Dabney Moore. Moore goes out over the top, looking for Boven. Fresh legs. Couldn't get there, though. Even with the fresh legs, you're not that quick. And so now, chance for CMS to build something up out of the back. So we're in the last quarter of an hour of the first half. Goes up high. Trinity can't control, which means CMS are going to get first use of it. Unfortunately, Kama Randolph couldn't get around it. Controlled well by Malinowski Cunningham. Played into a contest. Decision for the referee. It's going to be a throw for CMS, who get to make that change that they wanted to make. Gigi Adia coming in. Junior midfielder from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then yeah, Trinity the making a sub yeah. as well. Sailor Havens, first year defender from North Little Rock, Arkansas. She was a four time state champion with a club as a junior. That's cleared away. She wants to be an orthopedic surgeon. As someone that's recovering from orthopedic surgery, we need more orthopedic surgeons in the world. Played in the middle, can't get the support or the control, so it goes away. CMS trying to get there, shepherded off a little bit by the referee was Gigi Adia, but she gets control of it, and then it's played out wide for Randolph. It's just going to run on a so a goal kick for the Tigers. Aaron Heath will come in, sophomore midfielder from Lake Jackson, Texas. Shout out to Lake Jackson. Certain former commentator came from Lake Jackson. No relation to Tobin, if you were wondering. So Trinity restart. Heath on the ball. Heavy touch, though. Just couldn't get it, though, CMS. And now the Tigers back on it. Heath. Heath goes out wide for Boven. Heath back on the ball. The Stafford out wide. Plays it to the second player. And that touch is heavy. CMS will get it back. 
Oh, tried to find Randolph, but Randolph had a back turn. Azimi, just off the back of her feet, and now it is Randolph back on it. Randolph plays it into the middle for Adia. Adia wins the contest. The touch is short, though. Goes for Heath. Heath on the ball. Finds Azimi. Played out wide for Boven. She's behind. Plays it back. Azimi can't get on the end of it in the shot. She was offside anyway, though. Ball stayed in, so they're going to play the offside rather than the goal kick because the ball didn't go out. So normally in that scenario, if the ball goes out, you'd play the goal kick because the goal kick's direct. In theory, you can score from a goal kick. You can't score from an offside free kick because it's indirect. You'll see when the referee has his arm in the air. Offside. I thought she was offside. She looked offside from here, and I have a pretty terrible angle so for that kind of call. Subs getting ready. I see Taylor Campbell, junior midfielder from Edinburgh for Trinity. And for CMS, Chloe Valken, sophomore midfielder from Johannesburg, South Africa. And also getting ready to come on is Mackenzie Emmons, sophomore defender from Auburn, Washington. CMS gathering here. Touch is soft, but it doesn't matter. If Chloe Valken's wondering, it is 6-0. South Africa over Scotland in the Rugby World Cup. So two, two penalty goals. Presumably not drop goals, although we saw a lot of those yesterday from England. Good ball cutting out wide. Trying to get in behind, but it's a good run to stay goal side. And then Trinity will gather and clear it out. Stafford with space to run into. This is a tough time for the defense. You've got to balance taking the ball and defending the players further upfield. But it's well done by CMS. Accidentally pushed through. They kind of apologize. And CMS will stay on the ball. Played back to the keeper. Mackenzie Emmons, the other player, getting ready to come on. It's a violinist, played for the Auburn Riverside Chamber Orchestra. Good ball, just too heavy, though. Lewis is going to claim it. And to Dad Rodney, she, he played uh, football at Puget Town. Who I believe CMS play in the next game. No, they play Kyle Lutheran in the next game. Over the top, finds Azimi. Azimi plays it down for Heath. Heath goes out wide. Good run here from Boven. Tried to play it back for Hannah Khan. Really good goalkeeping. From Sadie Brown to gather that in. She goes to ground, she gathers it. That's great work. Ball hoofed along. Just can't get the control. It bounces. Let's get another look at this one. So it goes out. Tigers back on it. Azimi can't gather. And Malinowski coming in. Gathers that one. And McKinley on the ball. Just cut out. It was a little telegraphed. So Trinity on the ball. Stafford into a contest. That's going to be a throw for CMS. The Tigers readying subs as well so we've talked about the ones coming in for the Athenas so Taylor Campbell we have already mentioned Clara Richards def sophomore defender from Buffalo New York her uncle Ronnie played soccer at SUNY Fredonia and then we have World Cup player Malia Cesar freshman defender from Portland Oregon she was in the Philippine squad it is the international break but not for women's football so the Philippines don't have a match this weekend so she's still available for Trinity of course FIFA rules would dictate that if she gets called up for the Philippines they'd have to release her 
thrown in quickly by Trinity. This is our 30 caps for the Philippines. She scored against Indonesia in the Asian Cup. Good ball, she's definitely on. Is she gonna get there? She does, great run. Really great work from Helfrich. Just didn't have the support, which allows the keeper to come and gather, claim it easily. So you've got about six and a half minutes to go, and you usually see subs around this time. You give those players a bit of an extended half time. So I'll get you those subs in a minute when they happen. Good run there from Boven. Boven does well to keep possession and cut back. Swings it across into a bit of a contest, though. Headers over the top for Heath who just can't put it away, it's a goal kick. Let me get you the subs that are gonna be coming in. Sorry, it's a corner. Was a deflection on that, so Emily Burson coming in. First year defender from Port Washington, New York. We'll get another look at this. Heath tried to chip the keeper, good goalkeeping. Get both hands up to that. And then also gonna be coming in is Megan March. Another first year, she's a midfielder from Mission Viejo. Header from Ozimi into the keeper's arms. Mikabach has the Girl Scout Gold Award, which is like the Girl Scout version of the Eagle Scout. I am reliably informed by every Girl Scout I know that it is harder than the Eagle Scout. I believe them. Looking to turn here. Playing it around the back, it's calm. Still five minutes to go in the first half. Over the top. She's on. It's a good run there from Randolph. Crosses into support. Can't get over the first defender. Tried to regather it, but couldn't. CMS are going to keep a hold of it. Plays it back. That's the right move for Melanowski Cunningham. Goes out wide, but the ball just doesn't have enough on it. Athena's will regather. She is on side. Melanowski Cunningham. Played back for Randolph. Randolph beats her defender. Goes into the middle. Just can't beat that first defender though. And then Cesar on the ball. She'll make a run. Heath. Heath to Ozimi. Ozimi calls for calm. Plays it back to Boven. In for Cesar who just misses out. Of course Cesar coached by... One of the coaches that I think is one of the best coaches in the world in Alan Stajic, who coached the uh, Filipinas. That's unfortunate. Ball just rolls wrong. Looking for Azimi. Well gathered in. Great defensive work there from, I believe that was Alan. Looking up the wing. It's going to require a long run from Helfrich, but she does it again. She's been doing that all day. Good work from Helfrich. Ball stays in, so a decision is forced. That's a throw in for the Athenas as those substitutes come on. And yeah, of course, the Philippines were coached by Alan Stachich, who I think is one of the best coaches in the world. He's just taken the job with uh, Perth Glory's men's team in the men's A League. Ball goes down the line for Megan Barch. Blocked forces Holden to come play forward CMS still on the ball there's support there she turns well though back for Holden Holden plays it out wide but she wasn't expecting it Trinity clear had more time than she thought powerful run from Azimi does well to keep it in play and she's goal side she can run on goal there's support coming Azimi cuts it across the face that was looking for Hannah Khan couldn't get on the end of it and now it's in the middle again, and CMS will be able to deal with it. That ball's played just beyond Randolph. It's going to go out for a throw. Dylan Harrison will gather it in for his team. As Ilson Newland throws it in. Ozimi, Ozimi with a good one touch back to Richards. Richards has a shot, but it goes wide. Just wasn't curling in enough. She got a foot around it, just not enough to curl that back in. And it goes out for a goal kick. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Trinity won. CMS nil as the Athenals are working out. They've definitely got at least one more chance in them. 
with two minutes to play. Goes up the middle. Into a bit of a contest, but gathered well there by Bersin. There's a challenge. That's a foul. It's going to be a throw. Azimi thought it was all ball. I think she came in. Leg over the top. That's going to be called a foul most of the time. So it's a free kick for the Athenas. Falcon. You had Megan Barch calling for it, but didn't get the ball. And then it's cut out by Trinity. So perhaps the switch should have happened to Barch, who now has to run back to cover Ozimi, who's proven her pace today. That's blocked out. Keeper's going to come out to gather it because I don't think it's going to run. Nope, stays in play and just stops. Played long. Not a ton of time, but there's enough time for one chance. Adia. Adia plays it back for Holden. Holden goes out right as we enter the final minute. Ball played forward looking for Overnell. That's blocked. It's a corner. So in the last minute, CMS have a corner. Trinity look like they're going to stack the box defensively. Yeah, Trinity just trying to stand over the ball to try and delay some time. Referee can always one yellow card you for that. Two, we can stop the clock. This is college soccer. So the Athena swing it in. A lot of bodies in the box. Goes near post. Trinity get the first head, but it falls out for Randolph. Might have been a shot. Went far post and that goes out for a goal kick. Won't really be enough time to take this and Lewis will make sure there's not enough time to take Oh, she does take it. So, play it in. Playing it around. I don't know if I'd be doing that with this little time left. I would have just held on to that. But half time comes. Trinity 1, CMS nil, and what's been an entertaining half. We'll be back here in around about 15 minutes for the second half. Hope you'll join us.
Tigers now working it out of their back end. Cut out. Athena's with a chance to build something. Let's play long. It's run out of space anyway. So it's a throw in for the Tigers. Update to that Rugby World Cup score. South Africa have been dunking on Scotland all of a sudden. 18-3. In the earlier game, Japan demolished Chile 42-12. One goes back for the keeper who clears. That's a great clearance under pressure to put it into at least a contest. And that's a foul against the Tigers. So a free kick here for CMS. A chance to build something. Just can't find the player out wide. Bosco trying to run onto a great sliding challenge. Stafford looking for, and Bosco continues the run. She can run on goal. Keeper's done well to stay on a line and a good save. Really good goalkeeping there. From Sadie Brown. We're getting a look at it. Really good run here from Bosco. Covering defense is there, but it's great for the goalkeeper. Stays well spaced, makes the save. Putting it out for a corner. Swung in. Onto the penalty spot, header goes wide. And it's gonna be a goal kick. Early stages here in the first half. One in the second half. Trinity one, CMS nil. Chris Hockman with you for Tiger Network. Of course, we'll be bringing you the men's game after this as the Trinity men play Whitman. Chance here for the Tigers working it up the left for Stafford. Stafford swings in, late run, but she's hit it high. Player was offside, so it doesn't play it. Keeper gathers. For me, I think you could still call that as offside because she's clearly influencing the play still. And there's not really anyone else in a position to take it and run onto it. So I think they should be calling those anyway. So CMS just playing it around the back, trying to open up some space. While this with Trinity, Bosco tries to pressure the keeper. Pressure's enough to put it into a contest, but Stafford's touch is heavy. CMS will have a throw just inside their half. Ball's on. As Ball boy has to run on and get it. CMS with the throw. Well controlled. Good control from Ava Allen. Unfortunately, it's come out for Tigers. Bosco's not going to be quick enough for that. I don't think Allen's there. She's got support from the keeper. Plays it back. Good, calm defending. She'll switch it across the field. Looking for Ivy Doran. Ivy Doran can't keep it in. CMS trying to turn. Going to have to play it back, you think. Or draw a foul. Does well. Good work there from Caitlin Helfrich. Junior midfielder from McLean, Virginia. We're getting a look at this. Yeah, just a bit in the back. Too much there. Going out wide. Trujillo. Crosses in, there is support, can't get it past that first defender again though. It's been the story of the day, unfortunately, for CMS. Gathered by Allen. Allen plays it for Trujillo. Trujillo on the run, looking far post. There's a chance, but well grabbed by Lewis. She comes off the line well to grab that. So a good claim there from Lewis, who will hoof it clear. She's been all region for the Tigers. Appeals for a handball, but arm into the body. Not going to be called these days. Bosco comes back to get it, but loses out. And the Athenas will try and rebuild. They can only go so far, though. Stafford, smart work to play it back for Newland. 
Newlin controls, plays it over for Maya. Maya's got space, so she'll run into shape and go long. She does, she's looking for Bosco. But the height there wins out for CMS. Who will get the ball down on the ground. Helfrich has to run back to get it and can't do so. There'll be a foul against CMS. So Trinity with the free kick just inside the CMS half. Looks like it's going to be Reese Wallace to swing that one in. Playing her 54th game, three-time All-SCAC selection. She's a fan of Mia Hamm. She went on a sport management trip to Uzbekistan this year, which is pretty cool to see. She had some pretty cool stories from that trip. So Wallace sends it up. Maybe a little too long. Well defended, good header. Only so far, but all the Trinity players are offside. Really great work from CMS to quickly pull up. You don't see that happen enough. Like, players hang back. There's usually one player hanging back, keeping everybody on. But she did really well. Everybody pulled forward for CMS, which kept everybody off, which killed the chance. And so now CMS can build it up. Schmidt. Schmidt plays it back. Long ball here. There's a lot of players forward. Trinity can't deal with it. Good work there from Helfrich, but... Just goes out for a throw. So a throw in here. So it's a throw in. Dylan Harrison wanted the offside flag, but it's going to be a throw. So thrown down the line, flicked on. Referee goes to his ear, which is a thing we're getting more and more used to in soccer these days. Tries to turn, but good defending from Trinity doesn't allow it. Now a chance to counter. They've kept numbers back, looking for Bosco. I don't think Bosco is going to be quick enough. Keepers come off the line well. Really great work there from Sadie Brown again. Headed down, but Trinity now will keep possession. Looking for Bosco. There's an appeal for an offside, but she was back before the ball was passed. So Bosco back on. She's got three defenders around her. She has to go on her own, though. There's not enough support there. Just went across the face. And now CMS will go. There's players forward. Caitlin Helfrich, who is who they go for. If she can pass it across for Trujillo, who continue to run. But she can't get that ball around her defender. Ball's played short. Oh, that's heavy. Not a lot of intent there, just the momentum carried her, but the arm's up. It's going to be a foul every day. Just way too physical. Quick work from the referee, and Claremont will get on with it. Tori Holden. Holden goes for Trujillo. Trujillo out wide right. Can't beat the defender, so it's a throw for CMS. Get another look at this one. It was played short. Yeah, she comes in with her hands, clatters into her. It's a foul. You can't have contact like that. So CMS, while that replay was on, have won a corner. Here on the near side. It is their fifth corner of the day. Let's see who's taking it. It's Ava Schmidt taking the corner. Swung in far post, but it's just beyond everybody. Kept in play, cleared away by the Tigers. So looks like it'll be a throw for CMS, just inside their own half. Ava Schmidt was on the SEIAC academic, all academic team. Comes up for crucial goals, though. She scored the goal that sent CMS to the conference final last year. As CMS now rebuilding Trujillo's out there. Controlled by Helfrich. Helfrich plays it back. They've got options left, which they'll play. Trinity defense has run to ball carrier, so they had more options. Helfrich is bypassed though, and it's controlled by the Tigers defensively. Well stepped in by CMS. Ball goes back for Allen into the contest though and now Trinity with a chance to counter playing for Bosco keepers quick off the line 
She shanked the clearance, but it's done enough. Kept in by CMS. Tiff a glance. Holden. Holden plays it back. Fog. Cut out well. That was just a bit telegraphed. Bosco's going to try and run onto it, but I think the keeper's going to have the measure of it. Stays in the box, so she'll... No, it's outside the box. She'll bring it in. If she brings it in, she's allowed to pick it up, though. So. Ball sent long. Up the left. Controls there. Handball had her arm out. So free kick here for CMS. Played short. Just flat caught flat-footed and now Trinity with a chance to counter. The support there. Bosco's making a run. Schneider's in the box. Runners are arriving now. Bosco crosses looking for Schneider near post. Touched by the keeper onto the crossbar and cleared off the line. Good work by CMS. Dabney Moore sends it in, but it'll be claimed by the keeper. More good work there from Sadie Brown. Get another look at this one. Bosco swung it in, ended up going closer to the keeper than expected. She tips it right onto the crossbar. And then good work defensively to hold off the player and clear it away. Good calm defense. They know they've got plenty of time, still have a half an hour to play. Only one goal in this. Allen. Allen runs forward, plays it for Schmidt. Schmidt's got a bit of space, passes a little telegraphed, which allows Trinity to deal with it. They're going to let it run, passes it back to Lewis in goal. So the Tigers will work it again. Moore. Played out wide for Newland. Newland goes back to Lewis. There's pressure coming from CMS. Lewis again puts the switch on. Moving it out wide, out to Meyer. Meyer plays it along the deck, out wide. Trinity just playing with the ball here. Another long ball. This time looking for Schneider. Keeper comes and claims. More good goalkeeping. She's very quick off the line. She's very good. There's a good run here by Trujillo on the right, if they can see it. They don't, and Trujillo's going to have to double back. Now a chance for the run to continue. That's played in the middle, though, and Trinity will regather. It's Bosco. She's got Schneider in support. Bosco does play it up the line for Abby Schneider. Is it going to beat her? It does beat her to the sideline, so it's a goal kick for the Athenas. So CMS back on the ball. Fog. Sorry, Alan. And she just can't make the run. She's just gone across it. And so Trinity back on the ball. Maya playing it out wide. Two Trinity players almost run into each other's way. CMS will clear. Keeping it in play, though. Long ball from Trinity. Right to the CMS defender. And there's plenty of time there in the middle. For Holden. Holden looking for Trujillo. She's quick. I don't know if she's going to be quick enough. Going to play it back for the keeper. They're going to put pressure on Lewis. Lewis plays a calm ball. And Tigers will run again. Going long to no one in particular. Although Schneider's there. Keeper comes off a line quickly. Maybe should have tried to put some on that and go for a shot from her own half with the keeper out. But now... CMS up the left. I think that's probably a little too central. That'll allow Trinity to put it out for a throw. Edge of the area, throw for CMS. Ball thrown back in by CMS for Schmidt, who loses out. Tigers cut out, but it will still stay with the Tigers here. Decisions to make for the CMS defence. Stafford turns, lays it off for McRae. McRae plays it long, looking for Stafford again. I don't know if Stafford's going to have the legs for this. It stays in, though. Ball is still in. It's still on the line. 
Keeper can't pick it up because there was a touch defensively. Played back. CMS come work, working it out here to Trio. Goes long. Looking to find Helfrich. Can't do so, and it's a throw for the Tigers. Decent run there from Helfrich. So a throw in here for Trinity. Stafford coming forward, but only as a decoy. It's McRae. We'll gather it in. Plays it back for Meyer. Meyer going out wide to Wallace. Wallace in some space. Played it a little short, so had to come back and claim that one. Everts. Everts with a quick ball over to Bosco. Is it going to beat it to the sideline? It doesn't, and she's won a corner. CMS readying a couple of changes here. They won't make them now. I see Megan Butch getting ready to come on. She was a volunteer assistant coach in high school. And then Echo Malinowski Cunningham also getting ready as the corner swung in. Cleared away by CMS. It'll be a throw for Trinity. Taking the time about. Laid back off for the thrower. It's an easy one to cut out. You know it's probably going to happen. CMS cut it out. Forces Trinity back into their own half. Strong defensive run, forced the early pass, and now CMS back on the ball. Holden. Trujillo's out wide right. She's been making good runs all day, but they haven't really rewarded her for it. She gets possession that time. It's cut out well by Stafford. She's got long legs, so she can make those kind of challenges. Over the top, it's not going to be there for Stafford. And keeper will claim again. Sadie Brown's done well. Still 1-0 down, unfortunately. McKinley plays it back short. Little one-touch passing here to make some space. Goes in, but Trinity will quib straight back to where that ball came from. Trujillo again, an option wide. Look to turn. Not advisable that far out. McRae gathers it. She doesn't have a lot of support. Well recovered. A good recovery there from Ava Allen. To put it out for a throw. Trinity are also readying some subs. So we've gone over the ones coming in for the Athenas. But I saw Taylor Campbell coming in for Trinity. Aaron Heath. See Caleb Boven coming in for Trinity and also Hannah Khan, SCAC freshman of the year last year. Throw in for the Tigers. Finds Hayes. Khan played it out. Blocked. But Heath back on it. Blocked again. There's going to be a contest here. Who's the quickest? CMS doing well to regather that through Fregola, who was very active on the first half. I haven't said her name much, but because she's on the far side, I can't see her as well. As CMS will just take their time working it out of the back, sent long. But just in the middle of everybody, CMS will regather though. Now a chance here out the left. Helfrich. Played out left. Tried to cut that out, but CMS will stay in possession. Looking out wide for Malinowski Cunningham. Instead, go short. Malinowski Cunningham and Trujillo are in good positions wide right. They're going to try and play Trujillo. It's over the top of the defense. Can Trujillo control? It's just going to cross her body. She gathers. She's got two defenders on her. Is she going to cross for the corner? It's a throw in though. It doesn't get into the box and we'll see two subs coming for CMS. Emily Burson 
coming in. She was a conference champion in high school. She also played basketball when she was all conference. And then coming in as well, Flora Glance. Plays more as a number 10 than a number 9. She was an all-star in high school. The first year... The first year defender. Played back. CMS up the right, trance to cross it in. Tries to beat a defender a couple of times. They'll win the corner though. So it's a net gain. So a chance here, far corner. It's going to be strung in by Trujillo. Goes near post. Trinity defense rising highest, but it'll stay with CMS. That's just a little skew if crossed in under the penalty box. Lewis will gather. To Trinity regather. Trujillo puts pressure on, but the touch is just good enough to avoid Trujillo. Comes out for Taylor Campbell. Looking for Hannah Khan, but can't get onto the end of it. Goes out of the reach. And now CMS back on the ball, back on control. Trouble by Allen. Allen's running into the space, draws the defender, which then allows this player to run, goes wide. I think it's just going to be a little too narrow. Yeah, it is, so Trinity to clear it away. So a throw here for CMS, attacking throwing opportunity edge of the area looks to turn the defender got it round but ran out of space and so it's a throw for CMS and we're going to have that water break 20-47 on the clock Trinity 1 CMS nil was goal in the first half that has Trinity 1 nil up as we'll get that water break I'm going to take some water as well I see Maya Ozimi getting ready to come on for Trinity There's a sub coming for CMS. I unfortunately didn't see who it is. Obviously they're gathering to get instructions and things. As they'll take on water and sports drink. No brand names here. <laughs> so CMS getting instructions. Everybody taking on some water, myself included. So sub coming for CMS. It's going to be... Mackenzie Emmons, sophomore defender from Auburn, Washington. She goes to Claremont McKenna, studying neuroscience. She was all state in high school. I believe I did see Maya Razimi getting ready for Trinity. Junior midfielder from Dallas. She likes skateboarding, cooking, and baking. So instructions coming. Poor AR's got to run all the way to the other side of the field after getting some water. Chance 
changes are made. 20 minutes to play. Trinity 1, CMS nil. Chris Hockman with you for Tiger Network. Stay tuned, of course. We'll have the men's game coming up after this. So subs were made. So one each way. So Frankie Fregola coming off. She's been active. She's done well. And reminder, of course, second half, you are allowed to come out and back in. First half, if you go out, you can't come back on. Referee blows time back on. Trinity with a throw deep in their own half. Head to the penalty area. She's looking for options. Played down the line. Cleared away again. Trinity will again have a throw deep in their area. I'm going to guess Reese Wallace is going to take it. Yes, she is. Wallace goes over the top of the defenders. Trinity in a contest here. It is a Trinity throw, although I think the assistant might have been shaping the signal the other way, judging by how he hesitated with the flag. Kind of switching it between his hands. So another throw in from Wallace over the defender. It's what they've been doing all day, but CMS have the ball back. It's bounced. Don't want to let those balls bounce. Loses track of the ball. Good contest there from both teams. Heath turns, sends the ball out for Bosco. Azimi's making a run. Azimi with the run. I see Hannah Khan in support too. Goes out for Bosco. She's on. I'm oh, sorry, it was Khan that was on. A corner here for Trinity. Goes near post to Khan. Who sends it high and wide. And a goal kick here for the Athenas. Still plenty of time. There's only one goal in this. So plenty of time for the Athenas to get a goal back. We're around the back, trying to make space. Trinity not over committing deep. He goes out for a throw. And the Tigers back on the ball. To throw for the Tigers. Sorry, throw for CMS. Swung in, edge of the area. That's going to be cleared away well by Trinity. Good defensive work. Khan just couldn't get under it. Yeah, that's an unfortunate bounce. Just a push in the back, and that's going to be a relieving free kick for CMS. That's too quick from CMS. They've got time. They should be taking the time about this. Goes long. CMS regathering. It's a referee saw a clip there. CMS go up the wing on the left. Trying to turn the defender. Trinity, good defending, standing up strong. Ball played over the top. I think it's going to run out. It does. Goal kick for the Tigers. Strong defense here from Trinity. They're playing well. CMS have had chances. Waiting for Azimi. Good one-touch pass there from Azimi. Matched by good defending, though, to put that out for a Tigers throw. Good work there from Flora Glance.
Ozini controls well. She's very good at that stuff. She's a strong all-round player, Ozumi. She's quick. She can control well. She's strong. Good ball over the top. It's maybe just a little too long. Keeper comes and claims. I do think, I do agree that I think one of these long balls will come off for Trinity, but with the goalkeeper so strong off a line, it's hard to beat her. Back for the keeper. Good turn. CMS looking for options, but it's played in the middle. Not a great ball. Lewis will reclaim possession for the Tigers. We're about to enter the final 15 minutes. Controlled under little pressure, but the pass is poor. Easily cut out by Trinity. Off the referee, so that's going to be a drop ball. Back in the old days, you would just play on. Not going to do that today. Don't do that anymore. Sub getting ready for CMS. It's Caitlin Helfrich getting ready to come back on. Tigers play it in. Just can't get over. Ozimi was there. Good work from Hannah Khan. Cleared away, but it's deflected off of Khan, so it's a throw for the Athenas. Caitlin Helfrich, junior midfielder from McLean, Virginia. Her mum, Christy, was a gymnast at George Washington. Dad, Dan, played soccer at Georgetown. She also gets behind the mic. She does commentary for basketball on the cross. I see Ava Schmidt, junior midfielder from Orinda, California, getting ready to come on. She coached her club side when she was in high school. Put the pressure on the keeper, which allows Trinity to almost regather, but they've played it long. And now, CMS, a chance to do something here. Turn. Good work from Trinity. Trying to regather. That's great stuff from Everts, getting stuck into the contests. Now Heath. Trinity trying to build on the right. Good run forward, didn't come from an offside position. Thought she might have, but I was watching the ball. And so now CMS rebuilding out of the back. Athena's, oh good work to sell out Ozimi there. But Ozimi recovers quickly, that's what she does well. Keeper on the ball, not under a lot of pressure. Ozimi doing the right thing, cutting off that wide ball that could have built something up for the Athenas. Leads her to have to go long. So a free kick there for Clement Mudscripts. It's a chance for the Athenas to build something here. Plays it in the middle. CMS working around, trying to urge Trinity out. Trinity with a 1-0 lead aren't really going to do that. They're not going to be sucked into it. So they're going to have to be a bit more creative to build something here. Because Trinity are standing strong defensively. They've got no interest in giving up opportunities to CMS. Who get the ball back there from strong work from Ivy Duran. Good strength there from Heath. There's a run coming. From Hannah Khan. Hannah Khan gets on. Keeper comes out well and gets there. Gathers it. That's been the story of the day. She's come out and she's stopped Trinity. Trinity could be more up if it wasn't for this strong work off the line. Unfortunately for the Tigers, she's been strong off the line, but they still have the 1-0 lead. Pressure's there. Time starting to tick away. 12 minutes is plenty of time for a goal, but you feel it has to happen soon because Trinity are going to defend stronger and stronger. Goes forward for Heath, but... Cut out well, should have been a little more aggressive going for it. Azimi gets the ball and played back well. That's a good touch back from Campbell to keep Trinity in possession. Now a chance to build something on the right. They're not going to overcommit here, the Tigers, which is smart. Watch 
but they're going to take their time and build something up here. Heath heads it on for Khan. Khan keeps it in play, but the touch is heavy, unfortunately, for her. CMS will regather. Going over the top, but well dealt with by the Tigers. Back for the keeper. No pressure, which is leaving this frustration on the CMS bench. With the time left, you have to be pressing these. You have to put the pressure on. Mistakes are going to be the best opportunities for CMS, you feel. Back for Lewis again. Switches it for Newland. Newland cuts inside. Puts a switch on. Controlled well. Good control from Heath. There's the switch again. Looking out wide. It's just not going to come off. Just not quick enough. Back to the keeper. Trinity won't do the press because they're the team in front. As we're about to enter the final 10 minutes, Trinity still lead 1-0. And a much more characteristic performance from the Tigers. Athena's on this. Good ball up for Trujillo. Trujillo plays it inside. Ball trying to find Trujillo again. Swung in, but much too close to the keeper. Lewis gathers pretty easily. She'll take her time about it. Which is smart play. Ball sent long. And CMS will gather it back in. Good play out for Trujillo. Is she going to get there? It's good covering stuff from Newland. It's going to shepherd it out. There's a goal kick. And so the subs will come. Ava Schmidt for CMS. And then a whole host for Trinity. See Dabney Moores coming on. <laughs> Michaela Bosco. Kira Stafford. There was one more. Madison Baganski. First year midfielder from Corpus Christi. She played tennis in high school. Something she still enjoys doing. Cut out well by CMS. Did well to get back and stay on. So Schmidt forced back by the strong defense from Trinity. Controlled, she's gone down. The question is, she's outside the box. Just outside the box, but this is a good opportunity for CMS. Good ball in, that's what balls in do. They put pressure on. Yeah, just came through. Not a lot of intent there from Maya. So a free kick from CMS. It's going to be a ceremonial one, so the referee will blow the whistle when it's this close. This is probably the best opportunity of the match for CMS. With eight minutes to play. Got to do something with this. Lewis sets up the wall. See Randolph over it. Just can't catch who's adjusting the ball there. But Lewis getting ready to run in. Lewis was there as a decoy. It's shot, but straight at keeper. Good shot there for Tori Holden. Right to Lewis. Who saves. Hoofed queer. Headed down, and now CMS, who have switched to four up front right now. You've got to. No real goal difference in college soccer, so you may as well throw a caution to win. Trujillo looking to get around a defender, can't do so. Good work there from Newland, but she's forced to put it out for a throw in for the Athenas. Thrown down the line, but straight to the Trinity defender. Good contest here on the edge of the area. Swung in, headed clear by Trinity. That's a beautiful header. It goes out for Khan. His touch is a little soft, but it works out for Trinity. Bosco, another great run. Two on her. Shot is deflected, but into the arms of Sadie Brown. Get another look at this one. 
Another good run from Bosco. He takes the shot but deflected. CMS making a run again up the right. Off the back of the defender. Now a chance to go forward for Bosco. Bosco couldn't get on the end of it. And the Athenas will reset. Chance here, six minutes to play. CMS have to do something. Time's running out. Run from Emmons. But it's cut out by the Tigers. Tigers need to be patient here. There's no need to rush if you're Trinity. You've got the lead. Plays it too long. That's that rushing I don't like to see. Cleared away by the keeper. There's no need for Trinity to rush these. So players come back from an offside position, influence to the defender. So that's why the flag's gone up. And so it will be a free kick for Trinity. Influence the defence. Good work from the assistant referee to call that. Would have been easy to not, but the player has come back, influenced play. Good officiating. Calls the offside. And Trinity will send it long. Still keeping three back, though. Not over committing. And they have the lead. Stafford cuts in. Ball maybe just played too close to goal for the Trinity players to run onto. It's cleared away by CMS. It'll be a throw for the Athenas. It's going to run out for a goal kick. Not a great throw from the Tigers. And CMS making a sub. Emily Bursin coming in. She's an outside back. I suspect she's going to play more of a winger role given the game scenario. Four and a half minutes, a goal down. The favourite book is A Lesson Before Dying. And so CMS will play it on quickly. Looking for the run. That's a good ball out for Holden. Trujillo stays onside, comes back. Trujillo is going to continue a run, but they've played it more central. Trinity wins the header, though. Blocked by CMS. CMS really trying to get a hold of this. The ball shanked. Going to maybe fall favourably for Trinity. Yes, it does. Stafford. Stafford plays a fall for Bosco. Bosco's been active all game. Stafford's continued to run. Really great ball. Can Stafford get on the end of this? Unfortunately, not for her. Played back for the keeper. Goes long. Into a contest, though. Trinity could win this. Shoots. Oh, just across the face. Keeper was out of position. Went across the face of goal. And subs each way. We'll get another look at this. Quick thinking there. From Campbell. Certainly looked like it was going to go in from this angle. Chloe Valken comes in for CMS. And I think I see Teddy Del Preti coming in for Trinity. CMS can't clear. They have to play. Goal down with three minutes to play. Chris Hogwin with you for Tiger Network. Stick around. We've got the men's game coming up. I do see, you might see Whitman there on the far side enjoying this match as so they get ready for their game. Cleared away by the Tigers. CMS have to settle. They just can't do so. It's good work from the Tigers to put that pressure on. Definitely not over committing. I see the Tigers with 20 players back. Strong defense, but no one following it up for CMS. So Trinity will just work on this calm and patient. Good work to continue that ball. That's a good ball from Everts. Finding Newland. Newland plays it for for Stafford. Good run from Stafford. Blocked. It's a throw, not a corner. It's a ball thrown in from Stafford to Bosco. She's got two around her. She's about to have a third. Plays it back out for Stafford. Stafford can't beat her defender. It's going to be a free kick for Trinity. Just a little too physical there 
from Kateri Trujillo. And so, opportunity to swing it in the box with less than two minutes to go. I don't think Trinity are going to rush this. I don't think they're going to overcommit. Swung in. Far post. Keeper hasn't come. A rare missed chance from the keeper. It is going to be a goal kick, though, because she missed it. We're going to get another look here because there is some argument being made that it wasn't. I do think it didn't come off CMS. Yeah, I don't think she got a hand on that. It's very close, though. No, she did get a hand on it. So it is a corner. Yeah, you see the Whitman players ready. Corner coming in from Bosco. Swung to the far post. On running header, cleared off the line. That's going to be another corner. Good run from Bargansky. To run in on the diagonal as we're about to enter the final minute here. CMS need to clear it quickly if they're to get anything from this. Bosco goes in again, far post, headed away by CMS. And now they need to keep possession and make something quick happen. They've got to send it. Stafford trying to put her off. She's done enough. That's going to allow Campbell. Tigers on the ball. Could run it into the corner here. We'll see what they do. They're going to play for a shot, I think. Shot comes right at the keeper. She does well. Good follow-up and good goalkeeping. That's great football all round. Really great follow-up from Teddy Del Preti. Like to see that. You like to see the goalkeeper putting a body on the line. Really good stuff there. Not long left. We'll get another look at this. It's good goalkeeping to stay in front of it, but a good opportunity brewing here for the Tigers. Still pretty turns. Cleared away. Don't think there's going to be enough time for CMS. Trujillo hasn't given up. She's making a run. That's it. It's all over. A good win here for Trinity. Clinical stuff. Only one on the scoreboard, but they were clinical. Trinity won. CMS now. We're going to look at those stats. 17 shots on goal to four. 17 shots to four, 10 of them on goal for the Tigers, two for CMS, two saves to eight. It was a good performance in goal for Sadie Brown. It could have been more if not for Sadie Brown. 11 fouls to four, one offside to two, nine corners to six. The goal well, came in the 15th minute. Emily Hayes bundled at home. Keeper just too slow to get there. It was over the line, though. And stick around. We've got the men's game coming up. In about half an hour, we'll be back online to bring you the men's game. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you in half an hour for the men's game. That's going to be Trinity versus Whitman. We'll see you then.